Let's go! Sir, one of the criminals said he saw Ethan Bennett shoot Brandon. This guy's become a menace. Just like the vigilante. This is out of control! And a police officer was found dead on the scene, whose name was Howard Brandon. The police have informed us that the alleged killer is none other than ex-detective Ethan Bennett. Get the word out! Hundred grand for everyone who brings me the head of Nightwing or Ethan Bennett. Brandon would have killed you had I not been there. <sighs> so he would have. Best find out what's going on. And now we're hearing that two super criminals have escaped prison. They go by the aliases Killer Moth and Firefist. Police urge extreme caution. The mayor needs to do something. Everything's out of control. Garcia? He's been bought off for about a month now. I'll just need to find out how much Falcone's paying him. Mr. Mayor? Oh, what? You! I know Alberto Falcone's bought you off. How much is he paying you? Paying me? He isn't paying me anything. He's got Sarah. He's got my wife. Oh. I can free her. But I'm gonna need your help. If it gets Sarah out of there, I'm in. So, you wanted a meeting, Mr. Mayor. Take a seat. I just want to talk about Nightwing. He's of no concern. I know you put out a hit on him. Yeah, what's your point? Do you really think anyone can get him? She's in there. Are you being serious? I don't like to have my time wasted, Mr. Mayor. If you have anxiety issues, see a doctor. Who are you? We're getting you out of here. It's not that. I think I know who he is. Do you now? I was expecting company after all. Why? Why are you so loyal to Alberto? <laughs> It's not loyalty, it's deception. He's always been too arrogant to look at his own brother for signs of betrayal. You're Mario Falcone, Carmine's eldest son. What are you doing serving your little brother? You learn the kinks from experience. I learn from Alberto's mistakes. I've been waiting for the right moment to strike, to take him out and become the head of the Falcone crime family like I was supposed to be. Now, you don't think you're going anywhere, do you? I'll deal with him. Get her out of here. Stop rambling and tell me who you think he is. Officer Wilkes. Wilkes? Think about it. He was the one who witnessed the first attack on your men. He was the one who picked up your guys after Brandon was killed. He was always there. You do realize that Wilkes has red hair and Nightwing has black hair. Ever heard of hair gel? They have the same hairstyle. Hmm. Run! You hear that? Sounds like the welcoming party is complete. You didn't think you could honestly get away with this, did you? You've known the whole time? Hey, it's me. Remember? Get outside and find Sarah! <laughs> I always win in the end. So... Fire Fist, would you like to do the honors of killing him and claiming the reward? The reward's mine!
Freeze! Bennett! Bennett! Sir, you have to come outside and look at this. What now? You have a lot of nerve coming here. You wanna know what really happened, Chief? Brandon was working for Falcone. He was gonna kill me during the hostage situation, but Bennett saved my life. By taking Brandon's. Now Bennett's dead because of Killer Moth here. He died trying to bring him to justice. He was a cop, just like all of you. And you ridiculed him. Bennett dies a hero, not a vigilante. How very touching! But you do realize that you and Bennett broke dozens of laws being heroes. Arrest him! Are you deaf? I said, arrest him! Hmm. It's been a long night for the residents of Bloodhaven, which started with the trial of Detective Ethan Bennett. After the vigilante known as Nightwing freed him from police custody, there was a hostage crisis which resulted in the death of Howard Brandon at the hands of ex-Detective Bennett. But in a turn of events, it seems that Bennett ended up dying to save the mayor's life, and Police Chief Angel Rojas has announced that Nightwing is no longer his top priority. Well done, Master Dick. Also, Alberto Falcone has suddenly left Bloodhaven, along with his entire business. Where will he go? I don't think I need to tell you the answer to that. Sir, he's here to see you. Let him in. Welcome back to Gotham. The costume freaks are everywhere now, and there's nothing we can do to stop them. We'll see.